We will now look further into our modeling tools as well as technique. Well, first let's take a look at modeling itself. Uh, well, the idea of modeling is basically to create a graphical representation of something, usually like a process, okay, uh, that your the system developer of to analyze test modify play around with it it's something like a sandbox right the idea that you want to do here is basically when you create a model it is easier to see it's easier to understand and maybe it can even aid in communication between the system analyst or the developer with the end user there's quite a number of models right, that can be built such as what we have listed down here from your standard business model to data uh, objects for your object oriented uh, development or even the process if you look at the business process modeling all right so basically the titles tells you what it is okay you want to identify the characteristic of the business information system so is how do they perform their transaction okay for instance in a retail environment okay or how do they do their pricing okay or if it's a e-business for instance a dot com all right e-commerce okay. and again most commonly done graphically could be just a pen and paper or uh, sketches on your tablet all right okay the idea here is to have something that you can see you can visualize that, that mimic the business process and its function so you can see all right what goes on what what are the processes that take place which one come first and well uh, you may heard of a term or a new job role called business analyst okay and sometimes these are done by the business analyst or, or aided by the business analyst in hope to enhance productivity or right, of the business or even to find new ways right uh, to process uh, something okay a new working model for the business in some movies we usually will hear the word prototype okay and then of course prototyping is the process of building the prototype so what actually it is well uh, if you use the word prototype is basically the first early working version of something right. so it could be a piece of hardware it could be piece of software but of course for system analysts for system developers for system designers or right, we will always work on the information system so it's a very early working version of the information system it could be very crude all right it may not have all the fanciful feature uh, like searches sorting filters okay or the design may not be very attractive but at least it has to work okay and in some cases of prototyping you could not prototype you don't have to actually prototype the entire system but you can prototype certain components or certain functions or certain feature or during the prototyping process and whether the developers will use the prototype inside the actual production environment remains to be seen okay because there are cases where the prototype actually is further enhanced and later on used in the production environment but most often prototyping is basically used as a communication tool between the IT personnel that is involved with the project 
and the end user because it's very difficult for end user to understand what it, they are going to face or what they are going to see or be able to visualize from a piece of paper for instance a specification or, or system specification so using a prototype allowed the end user to see as well as feedback about a particular idea a particular system and this actually helps to uh, to give a feedback before the actual system has been built right you have a uh, case tools nowadays all right which stand for computer aided system engineering all right uh, it's a very powerful and very often expensive piece of program or software but it does help system analysts programmers developer create which means develop and maintain information system okay and uh, depending on the case tools right, because they are very different type of category of uh, case tools like for instance sign on for uh, use typically used in the IBM uh, environment right. some case tool basically uh, allow you to draw screens very quickly develop the user interface very quickly right so that you can design it without much coding right and uh, some case too can be quite advanced that you specify the system specification or the program specification or the module specification and the case to actually generate the template the codes for you all right then you can further go in and modify it but a lot of the work has been done okay and because of the complexity of this type of software or this type of tools they come with a very high price but you can basically from here knows why it is used all right because it really cuts down a lot of time and most importantly it also cut down a lot of errors then you have the JAD or RAD okay uh, you know, overlapping all right in terms of their definition basically uh, JAD stands for joint application development then RAD basically the first word is rapid then followed by application development but the idea behind JAD and RAD is basically your team all right is composed of different all right skill set from users they are going to use your system uh, manager that probably understand the process and want control and of course the IT team the, the people in the IT department or the IT division working together right, to complete the project okay but in that case what is the difference between a JAD and an RAD well uh, most of the time they are overlaps but JAD right, focus on fact finding right it focus on fact finding okay and it is a team based fact finding technique which is we want to know what is it that we want to build what is the specification so we use JAD or right, joint application development primary to get information that later on result into building the system specification that will be later on using the system specification to actually build the system but RAD on the other hand focus on the development but it's a very small condensed version so the purpose of RAD is very quickly build something all right to create something and it can be used in prototyping to quickly build something very crude at this 
current moment get feedback probably also to get feedback to enhance your specification or to eat certain design so that you increase the user acceptance of the system much later when you do a actual implementation or a rollout